Hello. Welcome to another video. No, I am not. Oh, what's that guy called? Wilson Summit. The joke has not landed. Old fisherman guy. I'm not him. I'm here. I'm down south. And I'm here with... Up there is Fern. Down here is my mate Lee. And uh, we're out fly fishing for trout. We're going to hopefully catch some trout. Uh go foraging get some mushrooms some other bits and pieces do a little bit of a cook up and i thought i'd bring you along for the day so last time i went fly fishing me and firm on a boat we caught absolutely shat all this time we're with a semi-expert <laughs> lee only got a little one He's got a little one, but he's really good with it. Right, we'll cut that bit out. I've had the biggest tangle so far. I got overexcited. I haven't even wet my line down here yet. Just got a massive tangle. Shat myself. Uh, it's light. It's like sunny and glary, but Lee just said we'll maybe go over the other side and, you, and, and take advantage of that shadow. Right, we're in. Burns in. I've still got it. Well done. Bring it in nice and gentle. Yeah. But don't let the line go into the rod. No, no. Oh, that's a lovely looking fish. I've got, it's coming. I'm going to go to the... I don't reckon he's ready, quite ready yet. I reckon. We're all going to start he's using whatever lure you've got. I'm on there the... Um, what are you on? I'm on the one I started the with the little blue. Yeah, that's the it. blue and black one? Yeah, that's what Thank you. Yes. Oh, well done. Is that your first fly? Well done. Fish on the fly? No, well, second, I think. First daughter's fish, right? Really? Yeah, lovely boy. <laughs> oh, look at him. Can you um, present him like a, yeah, you're a, a guy it? with a Tinder can profile pic? Push him right out fast. So it looks it. massive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, all this. I couldn't have done it without your hat. <laughs> Amazing, there's Fern teaching us how to do it, and that's one down. We've got a limit of two each, so even if me and Lee don't get any, Fern's managed to to get one. I love that woman. All right, we're in, we're in, we're in. We're just wearing it out. It might be one of them blue ones, but I'm not sure. It looks it. Fern is going to get down here. We're going to land it in this bit here where there's no reeds. Yeah. That is a huge net. Woo. That's a big one. There we are. Girthy. Some girth, some weight in it. We've got two fish. Hello. Um, so we are nearly reached our quota of fish. Um, so Paul sent me off to do some foraging. I've got the doggy with me here too. Oski. Oh, that was really bad timing. <laughs> I have to go and get a bag. So I think the plan is we've got some like wooden boards and we're gonna pin or nail the fish to the boards. And then it's always really nice to have loads of like fresh herbs behind them. The herbs get cooked and um, while well, the fish is getting all smoked and lovely from the campfire so we're gonna go and see what we can find so the first herb i found is hairy bittercress um it looks quite different now it's gone to flower but i noticed it because of these long seed heads so when you've got long seed heads like this and then you've got flowers which have four kind of squarish petals. It's a really good indicator you've got something in the mustard family, um, which has loads and loads of tasty edibles in it. Oh, look, he's getting involved in some foraging too. Um, so these are just really lovely peppery watercress-like leaves. So these are gonna be really nice with our fish, so we'll take some of these. 
<laughs> We've also got some really nice jack by the hedge. So again, this is another one that's in the mustard or brassica family. So you can see they've got those four petaled like squarish flowers and later in the year as well it's going to have the same shaped seed heads as our hairy bittercress. So this one is delicious. It has a really strong mustardy garlicky flavour. There isn't loads of these so I'm just going to take a few. Hemlock water dropwort, which is one of the most deadly plants we have in the UK. Um, it's got a pretty gruesome history. Um, basically, it causes all the muscles in the body to constrict and convulse. Um, so it kind of leads to asphyxiation because all the muscles around the heart and lungs and organs kind of tighten up and uh, stop you breathing. So it's pretty nasty stuff. So we're going to try and avoid that. I'll do a bit more foraging on the way back, but um, that's all for your foraging walk. <laughs> with me funny looks but it's mafting mate and i've only got my fjell ravens they're like heavy heavy duty too hot so i've had to just go for a fashion show with, <laughs> with gilet pants on i regret nothing Right, here's Lee's wonderful landy. Um, we've uh, done our fishing, we've come a bit, well, we're, our plan was to go cook it up on the beach. That hasn't happened because we want to go to a really nice pub, listen to a band, have some beverages. So we've just backed on here and we're getting it all together so we can have a little bit of something to eat. This is my friend, my good friend Lee. Redder than normal. Redder than normal because he's been like out in the woods. Um, yeah, we, uh, Lee's a forager and do you want you do you like people to follow you on instagram yeah if you, you want can to follow lee here Ish. lee does like foraging and stuff mushrooms and cooking he's a wonderful baker he's been a butcher um made i've made candles and he's made candles in his time he does a wonderful dauphinois pie but I'm, we do get sidetracked right here's our quarry from before the beautiful fern pouring us some wine <laughs> And which salmon, which trout is this, Lee? This, Take it away. This was off. Uh, this is a big brownie that we caught earlier. Was it the good-looking one? The, the very sexy one. Yeah, it was, wasn't that it? That very sexy one. Yeah. Um, sorry, just going to put some pepper on here. Um, yeah, so it's a really, really sexy brown. You can see that beautiful. Look colour. at the skin on that. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yep. So we just seasoned it, and now we've got a bed of mixed herbs some of this comes from our friends at um four acre farm uh and we uh fern also picked a little bit of the there's some wild garlic some wild mint uh we got chervil uh all sorts of stuff in there hedge hedge garlic um yeah so we're gonna put that behind it and then we've got a little bit of butter not too much oh, butter oh, look how hot. and then that's a good amount of butter yeah and then we've got some asparagus, English that. asparagus. That Sorry. You better. There we go. Morel boost. Ooh. There we go. For all you mushroom aficionadoids, look at these. Uh, some beautiful morel, something I've never, never found myself, but don't they look good? Look at that. Ready just to be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you can stuff them with all sorts of stuff. What did you do it with? Uh, uh, like a um, uh, chicken mousse. Okay. I always used to do it that way up, but then the skin doesn't get crispy. So I've decided to turn him round and nail it flesh side down. So our idea is, as this thing cooks, the herbs will kind of soften and steam into the flesh and flavour it really well. And that butter should melt as well. I think that'll do actually. Yes, and then we're just yeah. gonna... Looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. We're just gonna plonk it yeah, there. That makes the dream work. Just, just like that. And we'll lose the butter. Should we put a pan under it or something to collect it? Oh, oh yeah, let's do that. For anyone who's watched the... Uh, the van build, 
this is as far as I'm at with it, but it's kind of functional and it's kind of working at the moment. So we've put the pan underneath there, that'll catch all the butter and we can just baste her. Because that end is not quite okay, done, so just pouring a bit of fire. Get it going. What else have I got? Oh yeah, here. So it's, this is quite this is quite amazing. It's um mushroom salt, yeah. But it's like all the dregs from when Ooh, I dehydrate yeah. stuff. That so, smells yeah. good. Just smell what else do you know? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> that is one hell of a I've lost it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do you want to give it a bit of love in there? Mushroom dregs. What, put some mushroom dregs in there? Yeah. It's, uh, it's salty, so that's it. Enough. Yeah, a bit more. That'd be perfect, mate. Oh, that butter's kind of browning and oh, my like God. a burnt It mother. smells oh. amazing. Salad as well, but I don't really, don't really need it. That fishy butter dripping on the morels is the oven that. We've got Jersey Royal potatoes, English asparagus, local. Local, yeah, Sopley yeah. farm, yeah. Foraged morels, if you don't know now, you know. Surrounded by all its gubbins and some charred leeks, baby leeks. Beautiful, yeah, from baby. four acres. From Woolworths. <laughs> and let's see how she tastes. Let's oh, do also, it. some beautiful, look, that looks pretty good next to the axe. That's that, we should we cut it with some it? Some beautiful bread. Do you want a bit of bread? It might not. <laughs> it works, look. Oh, you keep your knife, you keep your axe nice and sharp. Yeah. Wow. Wow, peely. Oh, look at that. Oh, it does sound crispy. I've got a little... We can maybe fry it in the, in the little... pan if we need to, oh, to rejig yeah. it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, look at that. <gasps> Just slightly al dente. Slightly al like dente it. at the back, but that doesn't matter. I'm good for He's going in. Yeah. I'm going in too. Mm. I love that little corner face. Oh. What wild herb have I got here? Mm. Oh, Lee, that is bloody lovely. That's good. Oh, try that belly there. And we caught it. We Cut cooked it. it, cooked it. Mm. Fresh as. Look at that. Oh, that asparagus is perfect as well. I was swimming around an hour ago. Tate, if you don't know. These are called Tate's. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, Jersey Royals? Jersey Royals. It's the time of year, isn't it? So, oh, yeah. Spring, summer. Mm. So oh, what? Sorry, Lee, I feel like I didn't do anything. I feel like I've just well, sort of blinked you and you've created an and stuff, amazing yeah. meal. Like I poured a glass of wine and you've managed to cook four brilliant dishes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, it's just oh my accidental, God. wasn't Good, it? Good, eh? Oh, that potato, the mint is Right, here so I go, because I'm going to try a yeah. morel. Actually, mm. not far off at all, really. No, it's there. It's just like it's so many. Mm. Look at that in 4K, if you will. That is one of the best mushrooms I've ever had. Really? Mm. It's fish, fish and brown. Bridge. Also, I tell me I do it as well. I got this, by the way. There's views. Look. I made sure there was something. <laughs> Char grilled baby leek. <laughs> now. Oh my goodness, mate. If you were to make this in a restaurant, all this, which feeds for mm, three people, you'd be 30 quid a head easy. With wine? Oh, with wine pair. 50. It's got to be. Oh my god. It is, because you never get that many morels, do you, or that much like mm. mm -mm, effort going in with the fire and everything. And you don't get a dog watching you. And <laughs> dog watching, that's an extra five, huh? <laughs> and you don't have your bread cup with an axe. Your bread cup with an axe. And it. you don't get to watch the sun's No, well we're not. That would end. And the sun's going down. Uh, and as the sun goes down, we're going to finish eating our delights. And oh. then head to the pub for some beverages. A bit of fish crackle. And some singing. Oh my god. I'm just going to have some fish, fish skin. Oh yeah. Mm. So good. Thanks again, Lee, for an amazing day. Really enjoyed it. Thanks to Fern 
for getting the ball rolling. We're catching the fish. Oh yeah. You should have she that. led by example. <laughs> Thanks to the dog for shaking and threatening to jump off here and making me nervous. <laughs> and the sun's going down. Beautiful. Much love. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. And bye for now. <laughs>